Welcome to another Agro Buzz, our weekly agricultural program right here on the Rain's Coffee Break. Believe it or not, yeah, I know a lot of people don't want to believe this, but the Christmas season is just around the corner. And October is almost ending. And already people are beginning to look forward to all the culinary specialties that we associate with the season. Now, one big favorite on most Jamaica's Christmas menus is, of course, sorrel. Yes, somewhere the spirit, somewhere the hotel, which nowadays is also available all year round and is used in several different ways. I mean, you've got the usual sorrel drink, you've got sorrel tea, you've got the jams, the wines, oh yes. One Jamaican company has been very busy bringing innovations to the sorrel industry right here in Jamaica, and just yesterday, the company unveiled its new sorrel harvesting machine on the lawns of the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries at Hope Gardens. Now, you know, anything innovative, anything that's Jamaican, I am very proud of it, and we have to highlight it. So, this morning, I have with me Mrs. Alison Turner of Turner Innovations. Good morning to you, Mrs. Turner. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Very right. well. And I'm so happy to hear about this innovation. Now, tell me about this machine that is causing quite a stir in the industry. Okay, well, it's a, a deceiving machine that my husband, Oral, and I invented. It's a uh, USA and local patent pendant, and it removes the red calyx flesh from the seed pod on the sorrel, mm -hmm. which is currently done by hand in about 22 countries around the world. Mm -hmm. So it does it for you? Yes, we basically load the machine, turn on a button, and it strips the sorrel flesh from the seed pod. Wow. Why is it so important for you and your husband to develop this machine, especially at this time? Right. Well, you know, Jamaica is uh, known for sorrel. It's a traditional drink here. And the sorrel market itself is growing rapidly because of its major best, uh, health benefits. Yes. Um, current demand cannot be filled uh, around the world, especially in the States, mm -hmm. the UK, and Germany. Mm -hmm. So we recognize the potential wealth opportunities for us and for Jamaican farmers. And if we could find a solution and resolve the reaping cost-related issues, um, it would allow Jamaican farmers uh, to effectively compete in the global market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the fact that it's not being stripped by hand because you have this machine, what are the other benefits and advantages of this harvester? Well, I think the big one is that um, it's the only machine in the world which is yeah. in a great position nice. and uh, <laughs> it reduces labor costs by at least 50% or more and um, this is the intensive part of labor harvesting for yeah. us. Um, we increase productivity by an unlimited amount because the system can be built to any size we choose mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and we are offering the first real hygienic solution and I think probably the most important thing is we're putting Jamaica again on the map yes. for being responsible for revolutionizing the sorrel industry on a global level. Wow, I feel so proud of this. <laughs> <laughs> now how did Turner Innovations come about this in the first place? <laughs> Well, we're serial entrepreneurs. We both have our own businesses. We had our businesses before we met. Uh, we've been married for 11 years now, and we're highly competitive uh -huh. with each other. My husband thinks he's smarter than me, but you know, of course, that, you know. So, um, I mean, I knew we were going to be great one day from one of our ideas. I just didn't realize that he was going to be the one to do it. I was a bit pleased at that, but hey-ho, I can live with it. Hello, the behind a very successful man is a woman, right? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. So how did it all begin? Um, it really started with one of our uh, local, my husband runs a local farm store, he sells gas and bypass um, uh, in the community and one of the farmers who was buying fertilizer or something from him came and said that he was abandoning a large crop of sorrow because of the cost mm -hmm. to reap, it was going to be higher than what he would profit. Mm -hmm. um, so Oro started bringing sorrow home and we started to discuss ways because I said to him, you know, if it was to be created it would have been done already to leave it alone. <laughs> And he really didn't, he didn't listen to me, which is great. He never listened to me, but, you know. Um, and he um, started playing with ideas, and things started disappearing from the house. My stool stopped turning, my broom got shorter, and he was banned from the kitchen at one point. I said, leave it, you know, and he didn't. And after about three months, I remember being in the kitchen cooking, and he came in and said, look, I've done it. And he had the seed in one hand and the sorrel in the other. And it just started there. It was just crazy. We were just so amazed. I'm still amazed. <laughs> and it's amazing just listing about this and how you guys are working it out together. So where do you operate? Where is all of this wonderful things happening? Okay, so we're based in St. Elizabeth in Camapan mm -hmm. um, at our home. Um, we're 
farmers can come and uh, uh, access the service to cut the foreign yeah. at our base. Okay. Nice, nice. Operate a mobile unit where farmers can call us on our office number in working hours mm -hmm. and book a date for us to come to them. They'll pay a deposit, okay. and when the deposit is confirmed in the bank, we go and we cut the foreign on site. Gee, nice, nice. Yeah. And your plans going forward? How many more of these machines are going to turn out? Well, <laughs> we recently was invested in by some high net worth group of investors called First Angel Jamaica. Yes. Um, and some of the investors who have great a great wealth of experience in business sit on our board of directors now. So over the next couple of months, we plan to sit down with them and discuss what's going to be best for the company and for our country. Nice. Really, really. I'm really excited. And Thank congratulations you. Thank you very much. to you and your husband for this wonderful innovation with your, your sorrel harvesting machine. Sounds Thank great. You. Thank you. And have a wonderful season. And thank you very much for having us. We're really grateful. Yeah, you man, yeah, man. Speaking there to Mrs. Allison Turner of Turner Innovations. Congratulations on this great innovation, the Sorrel Harvesting Machine, developed right here in Jamaica. So to find out more about this and other aspects of the work of the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, you can visit the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries website, www.moa.gov.jm. And don't forget to support our farmers and help agriculture sustainable by eating what we grow as grow what we eat. Thank <laughs> you.